Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm Justin with ExcelSmith. A while back, we released a video that showed how to create a list of unique random numbers in versions of Excel prior to Excel 365 or Excel 2021. That equation works great and was the best solution I could find for older versions of Excel. Excel 365 and Excel 2021 introduced new functions that allow us to achieve the same results with a much simpler equation. If you're using one of these versions of Excel and you need a list of unique random numbers, this video is for you. Let's get started. In the original unique random numbers video, we created four functions with differing levels of flexibility. The simplest solution took two columns and utilized the RAN and rank functions. The most flexible equation could be built in a single column, but required over a dozen functions. With the newer versions of Excel, which as of this video include Excel 365 and Excel 2021, we can build a single column solution using nearly a third as many functions. To keep things simple, our dataset contains a label column with single letter values, as well as an empty column for us to build our random number equation. The first step is to build a list of numbers from one through five, the number of items needing a random ID. We can accomplish this quite easily using the sequence function, which is a new function in Excel 365 and Excel 2021. Sequence can take several parameters, However, for this example, we only need to pass in a value for the first parameter, which is the row parameter. For this value, we simply enter the maximum number needed for our list of numbers. The sequence equation will then build a list of numbers from one through that number. Since our example contains five labels, we will pass in the number five, close the parentheses, and press enter. Just like that, we have a dynamic array containing the numbers one through five. We now need a way to randomize our list of numbers from one through five. Otherwise, this solution isn't very exciting. To randomize our list, we will use another new equation, rand array. Eventually, we'll incorporate rand array into a single equation with the sequence function, but for now, let's build an equation off to the side to see how it works. In cell D3, enter an equal sign followed by the function name rand array and an open parentheses. Like the sequence function, Rand array can take a handful of parameters, but we will only be using the first parameter. Passing in a number as the first parameter causes rand array to return that many random numbers in a dynamic array. Each number returned by rand array will be a number between 0 and 1. Like with the sequence function, we want a random number for each item in our label column. This means we need to pass in the number 5 as the row parameter. Again, for this example, we will not be using the additional parameters, so we're good entering a closing parentheses and pressing enter. Rand array has created a list of five unique values between the numbers 0 and 1. We can generate a new list of random numbers by pressing F9 on either Mac or PC. Our last stop on this tour of new Excel functions is the sort by function. The sort by function is what brings all of this together. In its simplest form, which is how we will be using it, Sort by takes two arrays. It then creates a dynamic array consisting of the numbers in the first array sorted based on the values in the second array. To see this in action, in cell E3, type an equal sign, the function name sort by, and an open parentheses. The first parameter is the array we want sorted. In our example, those are the values in the RAND ID column, so let's select the range C3 through C7. Since this range is a dynamic array, Excel replaces C3 through C7 with C3 pound, which also represents the entire dynamic array. Let's enter a comma to go to the second parameter. This parameter is the array that is used to sort the array in the first parameter. For this parameter, let's enter D3 pound, which corresponds to the entire dynamic array of random values in column D. Those are the only two parameters we need. We do not need to enter a value for the sort order parameter. By default, the sort by function sorts in ascending order. However, since our goal is to create a list of random numbers, it wouldn't matter if this function was sorting ascending or descending. The output would still be randomized. We can now enter a closing parentheses and press enter. The output in column E is a dynamic array containing the values in column C, but sorted by the values in column D. In other words, the value from column C with the lowest value in column D is listed in the first cell of the dynamic array created by the sort by function. The rand ID value with the second highest value in column D is listed in cell E4, and so on. We now have all the pieces needed to build our single equation. 
Our goal is to replicate the sort by equation in column E, so I'll keep that equation on screen for reference. The first step needed to update our equation in cell C3 is to enter the function name sort by after the equal sign and before the word sequence. Let's enter an open parentheses to begin filling out the sort by function. Looking at our previously completed sort by function, we can see that the first parameter was the dynamic array in column C, which was our sequence function. This means our first parameter is already set. Let's enter a comma after the closing parentheses of the sequence equation to move to the second parameter of the sort by function. Again, looking at our previous sort by function, we can see that this parameter is the dynamic array in column D, or the rand array function. Let's type the function name rand array followed by an open parentheses. Like before, we'll enter the number 5, which is how many random numbers we need since we have 5 values in the label column. Type a closing parentheses to complete the rand array function, another closing parentheses to finish the sort by function, and press enter. Two things to call out at this point. The first is that the values in columns D and E updated. These values updated because with the default calculation settings in Excel, the rand array function will generate a new list of random numbers each time we press enter when the function bar is active. And since column E is fed by column D, these values also changed. The second item to call out is that the values in column C are different from the values in column E. This is because the values in column E are being driven by the random values in column D. However, the values in column C are being driven by the second parameter of our combined function, which would be a different set of random numbers from what is listed in column D. To avoid confusion, let's delete columns D and E. First, select all of columns D and E. To delete these columns, press Ctrl and minus on a PC or Command and minus on a Mac. We now have just the two desired columns remaining. As we saw previously, our list of random numbers changes if we add or modify equations. This list will also change if we add or remove content in our spreadsheet. As we saw earlier, we can also manually update our random list by pressing F9 on either Mac or PC. The updating data poses a problem if our goal is to create a fixed set of random numbers. Fortunately, there is a solution to lock our randomized results. First, highlight the list of random numbers, which in our example is the range C3 through C7. Next, copy the results by pressing Ctrl and C on a PC or Command and C on a Mac. Lastly, we're going to paste the results of our equation on top of the equation itself. To do this, either select Paste Values from the Paste option in the Home ribbon or press Ctrl, Alt, and V on a PC or Ctrl, Command, V on a Mac to bring up the Paste Special dialog box. With the Paste Special dialog box active, either select the radio button next to Values or simply press V on your keyboard. Press Enter and we have successfully replaced the random number equation with its results. I personally prefer to use keyboard shortcuts whenever possible. For even more useful keyboard shortcuts, click the pop-out banner in the top right corner. By pasting the results of the equation on top of itself, we have locked in the equation's results. This means our random list will no longer update if we continue working on our workbook. Let's press undo to get back to our equation. This equation works great if you know how many random numbers you need. However, there is a problem if you need a solution that can flex to match different list lengths. In other words, since we hard-coded the number of random numbers we needed, we'll run into a problem if our list of labels contains anything other than five values. I've added additional values to our labels list. As expected, the rand ID column is only showing random numbers for the first five values. The easiest way to modify our equation is to replace the number five in the sequence and rand array functions with the number 10, which is the number of labels in the new list. Let's make our updates and press Enter to see the new randomized list of the numbers 1 through 10. This works great, but again, we're left with an inflexible equation. We can easily modify our equation so that it works with any list length. Again, let's go back to cell C3. We want to replace the fixed value of 10 with an equation that will count all of the values in our label list. For this, we can use the count A function. We have to use count A and not count because count A counts all values in a range regardless of the types of values in that range. The count function only counts numeric values. Let's replace the 10 in the sequence function with the function name count A followed by an open parentheses. 
Next, we need to provide count A with a range for it to count. We could select the range corresponding to our labels, which is B3 through B12, but again, this would have to be updated if our list was anything but this range. Instead of passing in the range specific to our list, we'll pass in the entire column by selecting the column heading B and then closing the parentheses. At this point, our count A function would return the number 11, which is how many values exist in column B. That is the 10 label values plus one for the label heading in B2. We only want the number of values. We don't want our equation to consider the label heading. This means we need to subtract one from our count A function. This new equation returns the number 10, which is the total number of values in column B, which is 11, minus one to account for the column heading. We need to make the same update to our rand array function. Let's select the count A function, as well as the minus one, and press Ctrl and C on a PC or Command and C on a Mac to copy it. Next, select the 10 in the rand array function and press Ctrl and V on a PC or Command and V on a Mac to paste our copied equation in place of the hard-coded value. We now have a completely flexible random ID generator. As we modify the label values in column B, our random ID column automatically updates to match. It's amazing how much simpler it is to create a list of unique random numbers in Excel 365 and Excel 2021. Something that used to take 14 different functions can now be accomplished with just five. Well done, Microsoft. If you found this video helpful, pressing those like and subscribe buttons is always appreciated. Do you wanna learn even more about Excel? If so, might I recommend this video? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.